Hey everybody, it's Dream Crusher back again for my newest segment, a segment I like to call Wicked Women Wednesday, where I discuss a woman killer, not necessarily a serial killer, but there are a few sprinkled in there because you know I love my serial killers. So basically, I will be discussing women who decide to use killing as an activity. Instead of taking up a knitting class, let's just go murder some people. That's pretty much what they thought. So the first woman that I will be discussing is Dagmar Overby. Dagmar was born on April 23rd, 1887. She was a Danish serial killer and she murdered between 9 and 25 children. They're not exactly sure how many, but that is a rough estimate. She murdered these kids between 1913 and 1920, including one of her own children. So she held nothing back. Her own kids were not even safe. So let's find out some more about Dagmar. Let's dive into these notes. So Dagmar lived in Denmark and worked as a child caretaker. In 1912, she gave birth to a daughter of her own. And in 1915, she moved to a small village uh, in Copenhagen. Um, I cannot pronounce the name of the village, but I will spell it out for you. So it's A-S-S-E-N-D-R-U-P. Asenderp. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but close enough. So in Copenhagen, she opened and operated a business where she acted as, as the go-to person for families looking for adoption. So the mothers of the unwanted babies would reach out to her um, and she kind of was the middleman between the birth mother and the adoptive parents. So as a middle woman, she would care for the children um, while she found them proper homes. So mothers who had children outside of a marriage um, used this unofficial adoption agency, handing over money and their newborns to Overby. So basically, she was selling babies. I mean, just to point, make it pretty blunt and clear, she was selling babies. Um, What these women did not know is that their infants would never be placed in the happy homes of loving families. Between 1913 and 1920, Dagmar murdered as many as 25 children placed in her care, one which was her own. She would either strangle, drown, or burn them to death in her heater that she had in her house which is absolutely despicable like i feel like i'm not a super religious person but i feel like there is a special place in hell for people who do stuff to children like i just i could never understand how someone could harm a child but enough of my own personal opinion let's get back into these notes Then she either hid or cremated the ashes um, in her stove or buried the corpses. Almost as terrifying as the crimes themselves, the discovery of the atrocities was essentially by chance. Um, A young mother by the name of Carolyn Agenston, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but close enough, placed a classified in the paper Um, as she had just given birth to an illegitimate daughter. Oh my goodness, you know, I get so tongue-tied. But illegitimate daughter and was looking for a family to adopt the child. The murderess came across the ad and contacted um, Carolyn, who paid Overby and left her daughter with her. However, the following day, Carolyn regretted her decision to give up her baby and she wanted her child back so she contacted Dagmar basically saying like give me my fucking child back <laughs> however when she asked for her child back Dagmar said that she couldn't remember the address of the family aka she already killed the baby like there's no way this lady could have her baby back because sadly the baby's already dead. The bitch is lying. She's trying to cover her fucking tracks now at this point. So 
Like I said, Diagmar stated that she couldn't remember the address of the family. This aroused suspicion um, in the lady. Um, so she reported the incident to the police because how did I give you my baby the day before, but you can't remember who you placed my child with or the address? Like, bullshit. She she knew that she was full of shit right then and there. So she went ahead and went to the police. The police arrived at Dagmar's apartment. First, they found the baby's clothes. Then they discovered the remains of the baby. So they found her bones and the skull of the baby in the stove. So this ba- this bitch basically burned this baby to death. Like, I mean, you have to be one sick and twisted individual to be able to do that to a baby. Like, as a parent, I hated even seeing my son cry as an infant, yet alone, like, being able to hurt him. There is no way. But I guess because she looked at this as just a opportunity, she really didn't develop any sort of emotional connection to these kids. She didn't give a fuck. So she had no issue killing these babies. So an officer on the case stated in an interview 86 later 86 years later after the event that he had recalled opening a cupboard to find tiny burnt bone fragments. So like he opened up a cupboard and found like pieces of babies basically, which is just, uh, I don't know. That just makes the hairs on my arm stand up. So Dagmar Overby was arrested After her arrest, she admitted to murdering 16 children. Despite her confession, she was only convicted of murdering nine due to lack of evidence. But I mean, she admitted to it. So she, I mean, nobody's going to admit to a crime that they did not commit. So obviously this bitch killed these children and get her for all of them. But I think you figure she was convicted of nine. She's not ever going to see the light of day again, I would assume. So in 1921, she was found guilty and given the death penalty. So yeah, like I said, even with her just only being convicted of nine, she's never getting out again. Um, making her the first woman sentenced to death since 1861. Um, however, the reigning monarch Christian X was against the death penalty for women, saying that in an enlightened Denmark, we do not put our women to death. Fuck that. This bitch deserved to die. Like, man, that's some old foolishness. Thus, her sentence was commuted to life in prison. Nah, man, let that bitch die. Like, fuck her. For real. And that's not even coming from personal, you know, feelings toward this. Like, nah, man, that bitch deserved to die. She admitted to killing 16 babies. Not even children. Babies. Nah, let that bitch die. Fuck her. (laughs) But the trial was one of the most talked about at basically one of the most talked about trials at the time so it was in all the papers everybody was talking about it they wanted to know what was going to happen what was she going to do what was she going to admit so it was the gossip of the day um it was noted as a historical one in the danish history because it placed a major focus on child care legislation reform so yeah Y'all need to fix some rules and regulations regarding child care. I think that is a good fucking idea. Could have possibly saved 16 babies. So it was recognized that unwanted children were a responsibility of the government. So in 1923, as a direct result of the Dagmar Overby case, the Danish governor government passed a law regarding foster children in which the establishment of public homes for children born out of wedlock. So they should have been had that. But I guess back then, I mean, I say that now it being 2021, but I guess back then that's not something that was to the forefront. Like it 
took, unfortunately, a case like this to make them aware that these atrocities were going on and they need to have some sort of rules and regulations based on um, what to do with these unwanted babies. So Dagmar Overby died in prison on May 6th. May 6th. Jesus, I cannot talk today. I'm struggling. It's probably like that four hours of sleep that I had. But back to this. She died on May 6th, 1929 at the age of 42. So that is Dagmar Overby. The serial killer of babies. But like I said, I feel like they should have just went ahead and killed her. Just go ahead and put her out of her fucking misery. She didn't even deserve to live that long in prison. Or at least if she did, I hope she had a shitty state. I hope her bed had all types of wooden, you know, the little splinters. I hope she got all types of splinters every time she laid on that old shitty ass bed. All right, ignore my rant. I'm having a day, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> thank you guys for listening to my Wicked Women Wednesday. I will be back again next week with Murder Mystery Monday and another Wicked Women Wednesday. And I will be starting a new walkthrough series of the new World War Z Aftermath. I am looking forward to playing that game. And I hope you guys tune in, check it out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have an awesome fucking day and have a great weekend or whatever the situation may be. But I hope you guys enjoy your day. Thank you so much. All right. Bye.